Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to another video. Uh, this is Cosmic Alpha 6. Well, probably a little more than Alpha 6 at the moment because I compiled this from Git. But uh, we're going to go over the changes because it's been a while since I've done this. Now, before we get started though, I want to talk about an error that I've had for the last three years while testing Cosmic. I'm not even joking, since 2023. It's been pretty much almost three years. And that was with the ability to change this display's refresh rate to 165. It would not apply. I would literally have to go through the config to do it. I reported this three years ago and they finally fixed it in alpha six. That really should tell you that their priorities is not exactly bug fixing, but I'm hoping maybe that will change. I want some hope. I like hope, hope. You know, it does a lot for me. So that's the biggest change so far in Cosmic Alpha 6, okay? And if I scroll down, uh, we now have the desk, we now have the ability, okay, to do zoom. So the magnifier now works and everything. So here it is. And we turn this on. As you can see, everything just zooms in. I don't know if it zooms in for you or not. I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Another thing is we have a screen reader, okay? Supposedly there's a screen reader. All right. Now I don't see it, but uh, it's supposed to be there. Now, if it's in magnifier, that would be a bit weird. But again, we are supposed to have a screen reader. Uh, navigates you to accessibility settings, more in the books. In the books. Oh, uh, at login gives you various settings toggles. So we would have to actually check at login. So they didn't actually add the screen reader to the desktop. I don't know how to get to this thing. That's weird. Is there a way that we can actually, there is a way Let here. Let's do this. We're going to do this. We're going to go here. We're going to go to panel. We're going to configure applets and I'm going to add an applet. By the way, this is the dumbest thing you could ever possibly do in terms of applets. Screen reader. This is the dummy output module. It seems your speech dispatcher is working, but none of its output modules is except me. Please check out your log file to see what the problem is. This is the dummy output module. It seems your speech dispatcher is working, but okay. none of it. I get it. All right, I turned it off. And then there's the magnifier, and then there's the accessibility settings. So the screen reader needs to be implemented in here too, which is kind of nice. Desktop icon. So desktop view is now supported by right-clicking an empty desktop and selecting desk view. Options. Opens the setting windows for your desktop to show or hide a bunch of stuff. So mounted drives, we could show our mounted drives. Uh, we can show a trash icon if we needed to. We can change grid spaces, all of that cool stuff. So that's great. Now we have additional scaling options. Great. Great. See, this is good. Additional scaling options. So if we go to display. And uh, we choose display two. I think we're on display two. Are we? I don't know. It's really hard to tell because these monitors are identical, but I think we're in the middle. So if I show you scaling, you can see it goes down to 50% and uh, there's additional scaling options. So if we go down to 50. We could, uh, oh, that did not affect that. That broke the screen capture. I, I do apologize. Nope, that just broke the screen capture and and my window is really weird. And oh my great googly moogly. See, this is why you don't trust betas at all. Uh, how do I? Oh no, it merged some stuff. Well, I apologize for not being able to show you the additional features for the uh, additional scaling, but at least I showed you that it's right here in case you need it. So if you need to add more or minus more, you can do so. Okay, now let's talk about workspaces. Workspaces receive some updates to really make the feature sparkle. For starters, you can now scroll between workspaces in the overview as a quick and easy way. So, I mean, great. That's just uh, normal stuff that you should have from the beginning. Uh, preview for uh, now included in number blah, blah, blah. Well, how do we make the preview horizontal? Where would we go about doing that? Is that like in here and then then workspaces and then 
horizontal like that and then oh yeah look at that it goes at the top and that's on all displays now so i mean that's a pretty nifty feature right there nice but it should be here right in the center that would be best additionally maximized windows can be dragged and dropped between workspaces again common stuff uh windows gravitate to edges i don't feel no gravitating that's just a toggle on floating windows to gravitate okay floating windows uh floating is already there no gravitational pull is the thing where is the option uh manage settings will automatically apply to align in the windows management settings so i believe right here and floating win okay now i mean there's no gravitational pull whatsoever i mean it's nice that they tried to add such a thing but at the moment um that's definitely a no okay the launcher if a search in the launcher yields more than eight entries users can now scroll to the see the additional so yeah if we uh we do this and we just type uh discord look at that so again there's not more than eight entries but still if there was we'd be able to scroll through it which is nice file path completion is now in cosmic files hitting the down arrow typing a file path in the search bar will automatically finish your sentence okay all right we're gonna do this one second i need to get this out of this archaic ass view and uh let's edit this slash dot con oh yeah it does what it says nifty 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 and i'm trying my best not to be as sarcastic as possible but that's actually pretty cool i like that a copy and paste using the middle mount middle mouse button has been implemented <laughs> really all right so i'm going to copy the word clipboard and what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and nope it just does not work okay did i actually copy you i did nope all right i guess that one needs some more time a nav bar has been added for viewing folders in tree view to display the video file available to open in the media player files menu option to have also been completed oh that's pretty nice and not really about that a revert all changes feature has been added to the cosmic edit to revert your files back to the most recent save state so if you decide to scrap everything and start anew you basically go to close project in the file section from the nav bar cool so if i go and i do uba 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 doobity doobity la, 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 la. don't mind me you can literally go in here and hit close project right here it was a thing but it's not filed in so i guess i actually have to save the changes oh zoom has also been implemented so now you can zoom in and the zoom in button is control plus plus so control plus 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 that sounds nice uh you can also cycle project tabs using control tab and control shift tab shortcuts nice open sans replaces fira sans as the default font for cosmic interesting font changes great i don't honestly get the point they all look the same to me unless there's like some weird thing going on all right, so now there's been resource optimizations. Which means if I open up Mission Control Center, how much RAM am I going to be using? Yeah, I'm still using the same exact amount of RAM as I usually do when it comes to using Cosmic. So there's not really much different. Uh, but apparently, I'm going to read this completely. Memory optimi memory usage and gr uh, has been greatly reduced in a number of areas, including minimize cosmic files and workspaces. A related update made to Liz Cosmic should prevent memory fragmentation. In addition, optimizations in cosmic test and text and free desktop icons have reduced memory usage across all cosmic apps and applets. 
display settings, wallpaper settings, pages received performance updates, while CPU usage regarding to desktop files and workspaces have also been greatly reduced. That's good. And then there's a huge bunch, bunch of bug fixes. Uh, a lot of them. Also, for you people who actually use Pop! OS, all five of you, um, kernel's been updated to 6.12.10, which has been nice. Yeah, add, added support to Cosmic BG for compositors without fractional scaling. Uh, I'm trying to find some stuff. Resolved an issue with Firefox regarding the default web browser. Not being set when it has to be. There's a brightness slider. Like, let me try it. Brightness slider. Do we actually have a brightness slider? Do I have a brightness slider? I don't. I don't really need to worry about RAM, but the point is, I mean, they fixed. Look, they did. They fixed a lot of stuff. Flashbang. Okay, here we go. You can, like, go through all this if you need to and check it out. I'll leave it in the description below. Look, I'm copying it. But the major thing, the major takeaway through all of this for me personally is the fact that they fixed a three-year-old bug. They have officially done more work, okay, to their entire DE than KDE has in the last 25 plus years. So to that, I say congratulations. But also I say, why did it take you three years to fix a bug? Yeah, and someone's going to say alpha, alpha, alpha. But see, the thing is, I reported this before the alpha was even available. Hmm. It just seems like bug fixing may not be their focus. I hope it will end up being their main focus for Cosmic uh, Alpha 6. For uh, Cosmic Alpha 7. My god. I would love it to be nothing but bug fixes. I'm talking about them going through the list of reported bugs, whether they be old as hell or new as hell, and just fixing every single one of them for Alpha 7. Think about it. Can you think how much praise they would get? It would go from being an alpha state, I'm sorry, my bad, pre-alpha state, to being something you could daily drive. Again, because before this was alpha, I daily drove this. I was on this for weeks at a time. I was sitting here, I was reporting bugs, I was getting back to them, I was doing my best to test new pull requests. Cosmic was fresh and new, and it was more stable in pre-alpha than it is now. And that, that says a lot, but I'm glad that they are looking to fix more bugs. Please, developers, if you watch this, concentrate on bug fixes for Alpha 7, okay? And blur, but mostly fixes and regressions. Gaming is still completely broken. I tested that earlier before I made this video, and it is a utter disaster. They did fix some things when it comes to gaming, but most titles are still completely broken. They start up in a weird state. And I just noticed right here, there's an old lady. There's an old lady. That is just not okay. And now my brain won't stop seeing it. And now I need to. Uh, the, the lady needs to go away. There we go. Are we good? Are we good? There's no people here standing at, or staring at me. I hate this wallpaper, by the way. They are all just very ugly wallpapers. I'm not a fan. Anyway, uh, if you're new to Linux and, you know, you want to learn some cool new stuff, check out the playlist in the description. It has everything you need to learn about Linux. Everything. Good distros, bad distros, you name it. How to use Steam for gaming, heroic game launcher, kernels, yada, yada, yada. All the magic that makes Linux tick. It's in the description below for you. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys next time. Cosmic Alpha 6.